So I know I've talked about this before you guys, but if you saw my last video, that, that white shirt, that regular white, um, V neck shirt that I was wearing. So I went to, I went to a restaurant, right. And I was, I was just getting a menu because I was going to order something. Um, I was going to order something cause somebody got me a gift card. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I, I was going to order the right thing. Um, because there's different things you can choose from anyway. So I went in there with that, that regular, that very white plain shirt. And the way that people treated me, you guys was absolutely disgusting. Um, how they didn't even want to be near me. They didn't want to talk to me. They started uh, clearing out of the area um, and, and they just wanted to end my question and the conversation so quickly. But if I go in, if I go in there and I'm wearing something like this, right. Or, or hey, I got my glasses on or whatever, something stupid and superficial like that. And the way that they treat you, you guys, um, when you are dressed like that, um, how they're willing to do anything for you, uh, they, they want to talk. I've talked about these things before, right? And even there's people that, um, that have been that, that, um, watch my content here that it's, it's because of the way that you look right? You guys that they will treat you differently than they will somebody who's homeless, somebody who's walking on the side of the road, right? And needs a ride. But if I go down the street and I'm wearing something like this, how many more people are willing to pull over and do things for me because of how I look? And you guys, I want to tell you something. It ought not to be like that. Okay. And a lot of people, when I start talking about this, a lot of people think they say, well, I, uh, who are you? Who are you to bring up, to talk about these things and, and all that, you know, um, that what right do I have, right? To say these things. And you guys, this is revelation. This is teaching and revelation of the Holy Spirit, because I want to share something. You guys, there is a kingdom that is arising, that is coming. Okay. And <clears throat> And we are going into a time where uh, people who choose to reject what is right, right, who, who choose to reject the way of life, to who choose to reject what is right, they are going to be rooted out of the world. That mentality and people who want to hold, choose to hold on to that are not going to make it. They are physically going to literally in their physical temple be removed from the earth. Because you can't be, you can't have that sort of spirit going into the kingdom era, going into the millennial reign. And it's not right. Morally, it is not okay to do that. And you guys, the Lord is giving us time. He's giving, he's, uh, he's, Having me warn people, right? Uh, warn people to say that it shouldn't be like that, to give people an opportunity to repent, to acknowledge these things so that they can change. And pe but people, a lot of people don't want to change. They want to hold up or they don't want to bother with it. And you guys, there's a reason why the Lord is going to allow things in this world to get worse. And it's not because he's a mean God. It's because people choose to hold on. They're, they're choosing to not acknowledge these things. They want to hold on to these things that are base, that are not good, that do not help humanity, that treat others with disrespect and contempt and hatred. They choose to hold on to this. And you guys, the Lord has a way to get this out of people. The Lord has a way and humanity is not going to like the way that it is going to be removed by force. 
you know, there's, you know, the spirit of chaos, you guys, um, the way that the enemy works and how susceptible people are to silly, stupid things, right? I'll give you an example, okay? You know, there's people, um, people in community, right? People who are very wealthy, who have, um, who have lots of money, things like that. You know, they have people come in and, and do work for them, right? They contract them out, they pay them a, a, a fee and they come in and, and they do these jobs for them, right? We all know this. Um, but, you know, then there's that one time, right? That somebody who with a lot of money, right? They hire somebody to come in and they get ripped off. They get ripped off by the contractor. They get done wrong. Okay. And that one thing, you guys, that one thing that somebody experiences like that changes their heart, the way that they perceive things, the way that they act for the rest of their lives. And people go to their grave, people with I'm giving in just this one example, people who have a lot of money, who have had a lot of money, they go to their grave like that because they got ripped off. And so they go around um, it, and, and, and I'm not giving a license to the person who did the wrong thing. I, what I'm exposing is the spirit of chaos and how it works. And because one person, because somebody, right, got ripped off, right? They got ripped off uh, $7,000, $10,000, maybe even more right and so they get so hurt and and it's because um they feel violated sometimes it's because um it's because really they 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 feel upset and hurt and angered that they lost money right and so they let that whole thing that whole situation that one thing that happened to them in their life with this with that contractor harden their hearts and view the world, everything, their whole mentality changes and they raise up their children and, and, and to not trust people because they'll say people can hurt you. People just want to steal our money. One thing, you guys, and they don't allow the spirit of Christ. They don't allow the truth. They don't allow God to come into their hearts to help them with that. And they don't want to acknowledge it because either they, they really love money, whether they want to admit it or not because they're hurt because they lost money because they idolize wealth. They're so upset by that, that they lost so much money. And so they raise up their children. Oh, no, don't trust them. They, they don't trust anybody from that moment on because one person took $5,000, $6,000, $7,000, $10,000 from them. And that changes their life forever. They go to the grave with that heart. But they proclaim to be believers. They go to church. They go to church. They profess to love Jesus. They sing songs unto the Lord. You guys, this is how, these are the things that are happening. And people do not want to acknowledge those things. And people are going to wonder why. Why is the Lord allowing Russia or China to invade? Why is the Lord ha allowing these storm and all these things happen? They wonder. You guys want to know when, um, why that thing that when, um, after the flood and, um, and how Ham, Ham saw his dad naked on the ground, laying out, passed out drunk. Noah shouldn't have done that. It was a sin. But instead of Ham, going and getting a blanket, covering up his dad, 
and never talking about it again, acting like it never happened. He went and showed, he went and grabbed his brothers and said, hey, you guys, look, look. And that one thing, you guys, one thing, one spirit, one mentality like that, one thing can be the root cause, can be the spread of sin and iniquity. The Lord says those who cover up an offense, who say, no, you know what? Even though I feel like I want to go around and like, hey, and show people and spread this, right? You can say one thing or one coworker can say one thing to you. And it's not a good thing to say. And how many uh, other people at work go and spread that whole thing around the whole place, getting people to think negatively, to talk negatively, to gossip. One silly thing like that happens to be and they go and spread it all over the place you got <clears throat> you guys the lord says that it is a good thing it's a holy thing and a righteous thing to cover up a sin when something like that happens to be the one that says no you know what i'm gonna snuff this out right here and right now and that I am not going to allow the enemy to spread his chaos, to spread his wickedness. The enemy gives you, presents these opportunities to a lot of people and they run with it. And they proclaim to be believers. They claim to be the blessed of the Lord. There's a reason, you guys, the Lord is going to allow what he's going to allow to happen to America especially, and why he's allowing these things to happen in this world. And it's not because he's a mean God. It's because people don't want to acknowledge these things, these things that I'm talking about, and they seem little, and they're not little. They are what are evolving and what is snowballing into bigger things that end up being abortion, that end up being murder, that end up being sexual immorality. And the Lord is giving us time, you guys. He's giving us time to hear these things and acknowledge them and to go to him in prayer. And brothers and sisters, if, you all, if you're already living this life and you're, you already know what I'm talking about, then your duty, our duty is to pray that other people be convicted of these things. That it was our duty to pray that, these, that people's hearts would be changed, that they would realize these things before things get worse. That is our duty and our obligation as children of God, as people who profess and profess and claim to follow Jesus. I love you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ.